New Zealand's South Island gets all the glory. Most people will tell you the South Island is better than the North. This season, we're gonna show you why we have fallen in love with the North Island. Today, we take you on a perfect day trip from Auckland to the beautiful West Coast on a very muddy search for some sea caves. This is like every kid's dream. Most commonly known on this west coast right outside of Auckland is Piha Beach. Today, we're headed to a lesser known gem nearby called the Fatipu Caves. I don't know, we're gonna go on a hike and see some sea caves. Some caves aren't on the sea anymore, but you can still see them. So you can see the caves, sea caves. Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? We're gonna go for a hike. Don't get keep stuck. Going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Brand new shoes. The hike today takes us to some sea caves. The sand has moved a lot over the years, so the caves aren't exactly on the sea anymore. We're super excited to explore them. Be careful. Don't do it. Back up. Back up. I think this is why everybody was wearing like big gum boots when they were going this way. Oh man. So I'm either gonna have to go in the water or I'm gonna have to poke Heli in the face. Oh. I'd go through there. Go through there. The tunnel. I, I, I can't do that. Okay, Heli, close your eyes. Cover your eyes with your hands. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Oh, I'm cold. No, lower it, lower it. Yeah. The track was so muddy. We generally tell the kids to keep their feet dry so they stay warm and don't get blisters. We had to completely let this go and fully embrace the mud. Okay, going through the forest. Uh, the short people's forest. Thankfully, there were only a few parts of the track that were muddy, not the whole way. The track is supposed to be an easy 45 minute return hike. Definitely took us a bit longer than that. Is that a big snake on the wall? What is it? Wait, what? Mommy made you fall? What'd you get, Hobie? <laughs> After Hobie took a dip in the freezing water, we were super excited to arrive at our first cave. All right, in they go. Do you want to go into it, Hobie? Okay, guys. Uh, spider webs. This is like Swimming goggles. No. What's really neat is that there's quite a few caves to explore. Well, we, I think we have a marking. Ooh, there is a marking. Go check it out. Caves are always so much fun for kids to explore. A sense of mystery, wonder, and fear. You never know what you might find. Maybe even some treasure. Eventually, we came to a large cave. Believe it or not, 
there is actually a dance floor hidden about five meters under the sand. And this means that this cave was actually so much bigger than it appears now. They used to hold dances in this cave around 100 years ago. The dances are believed to have gone on for nearly 60 years. Super cool. We continued for a bit longer to see what else we could find. We were really loving all the caves. Bobby, what's happening? Uh, raining. So where are we? In a cave. We are hiding out in a cave because it is raining. Hopefully it'll blow over and we'll be able to hike back. Or we could spend the night. Right, Hobie? So this is gonna make those muddy trails even better. It's coming down pretty hard. But it's still kind of sunny, so I think it'll blow over. All right, the rain has cleared. Let's head back. We were super thankful that we had a cave to hide in until the rain blew over. Dangerous than it looks. Super pokey plants. One mistake, and you get poked. I'm a traveling spirit. I've seen many shores. From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya. They treat me like a son anywhere I go. And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I. Hey, honey, I don't think this is a trail. back, saw some cool caves, walked through some mud puddles, flew the drone, almost lost it, the wind was pretty strong, had to go into sport mode to fight the wind. How we doing? What are you doing, Hallie? We're getting home. How are we getting home? What did we see today, Hallie? Oh, okay, shapes. What did you think of the caves? Very fun. Very how come, fun. How come your shoes aren't muddy? Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own. This was a super neat hike. Really fun for all ages, but it's one kids can especially enjoy. A vast amount of caves to explore, mud and puddles to trudge through. We really enjoyed ourselves. Although a bit cold, wet, and muddy now, we had a really great time. Join us next time as we venture to the world famous Taupo, where we visit some geothermic parks and swim in another hot river. Special shout out to Life with Sam and Tiff. Thank you for commenting. Please subscribe so we can take you on our next adventure. Click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. This season is gonna be good.